Have you ever played a game that was so awesome, you beat it and thought to yourself, Man, I can't wait to play the sequel. Only to be disappointed because it doesn't exist, or isn't what you wanted. Do you have that one game sitting on your shelf that you look at from time to time, with a glistening tear in your eye and a fading hope in your heart? My friend, you have fallen in love with a game that needs a true sequel. Warcraft 3 and its expansion The Frozen Throne are two of the most beloved video games of all time. They basically cemented Blizzard as a prominent developer and paved way for one of the hugest and most profitable games ever made. Not to mention a feature length film and a whole cascade of expanded material and lore. Warcraft 3 played a big part in all of this, but it wasn't the only game that did. Blizzard had built up their RTS prowess with Warcraft 1, 2, and StarCraft. They had such a tremendous track record of high quality games and success. Things were looking good after the Frozen Throne. The game was popular as fuck. It had the sickest custom games, was being continuously updated, and had a great story with interesting characters. Every real-time strategy fan's wet dream. We sat in our beds thinking, wondering, what the next big thing from Blizzard would be. Only, in the coming year, something terrible, or beautiful, was on its way towards a bombastic release. I'm Mr. T and I'm a Night Elf Mohawk. What's your game? World of Warcraft. To some, a game that killed the true nature of the Warcraft series. To others, a fun, addicting, and huge immersive world with endless content. But for better or worse, WoW was the last installment in the Warcraft series, debuting in 2004. Aside from the expansions, since then very little has been said by Blizzard on a potential sequel, and fans have been left stranded, yet hopeful, that someday a glorious trailer will reveal the game we've all been waiting for. With Warcraft being such a popular franchise and the desire for a true sequel so strong in the hearts of fans, let's chop some lumber, summon the Burning Legion, and sug sug our way straight into this. And you thought the wait for StarCraft 2 was long? How does it make you feel that we've been waiting for Warcraft 4 longer than that? Hell, it's about time. That's right, Tychus. Exactly. But the important question is, why do we need a Warcraft 4? And oh man, am I ready to answer that question. First off, the Warcraft series is just so fucking awesome. It's an RTS that seamlessly adds RPG elements, so there's a focus on your troops, but also the hero leading them. Not to mention the kick-ass soundtrack. Warcraft 3 is kind of like Paper Mario and Halo 3, because it has a timeless graphical style that looks good even to this day. Now just picture what a Warcraft 4 would look like today. It's okay if you jizzed a little, it's alright. Oh, oh, oh. Of course, a true sequel to Warcraft 3 would build off of that game, and perhaps some things from WoW. Blizzard knows the identity of their games, and unless it's a series named Diablo, they're pretty good at maintaining that identity with each iteration. So dope custom games, great modding and map creation tools, Perhaps a fifth faction, new heroes, new abilities, units, strategies, infinite possibilities in the Warcraft world. So I think if they pursue a sequel, it'd most likely be exactly what we want. Just gotta stay away from the shady business practices and the RNG loot crate wreck box of supply drop card pack fuck shit. Yeah, that stuff. Now I imagine the people that stopped playing WoW are itching for something new. A sequel would definitely rekindle people's interest in the series. With all the MOBA games running around, stifling the RTS genre, it'd be refreshing to have a brand new Warcraft game. Also, people like me that don't play WoW and don't really care for it, 
Well, we're not gonna play WoW no matter what expansion comes out. We just don't like MMORPGs. Fuck you, the old Republic! Where's KOTOR 3, goddammit? There's a decent population of people still playing Blizzard's old RTS games and waiting for a new one. Giving those gamers a new Warcraft would just blow their balls off and open their wallets. And some people are gonna say, um, uh, technically act, man, uh, World of Warcraft is a sequel to Warcraft 3. It's a Warcraft 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. <laughs> to which I say, no, it's fucking not. RTS games and MMORPGs don't have the same audience of gamers. People that want to command huge armies of troops aren't interested in what WoW has to offer. It's a game that cannot and will not ever be appealing to RTS fans, nor is it a worthy sequel because it doesn't take what Warcraft 3 did and makes it better, it's a completely different game. And while I'm sure it's fun to have 18 million spells macroed to your keyboard for when you fight that raid boss with 97 quadrillion health, but Warcraft was always about being a general in an army leading and commanding troops in huge epic battles. Warcraft returning to its roots would be an immensely powerful thing and will make for some nice fan service as well. Also, MMORPGs in general are more focused on gameplay, less than story, and WoW is no exception. It's not enough to have characters we know and love spouting endless exposition, we need something more meaningful than that. For the most part in WoW, you just kill random mobs of enemies and you don't really feel like you're doing anything important other than grinding XP. People want to see a Warcraft game that can tell a competent, interesting story. Something that gives the player a feeling of importance and motivation for what they're doing from start to finish. Let's not forget, Blizzard is a company that doesn't forget their past successes. And they make sure to remind us of those past successes all the time, by throwing in easter egg references to their other games, so they must appreciate them. I'm sure many people at Blizzard would love to make a Warcraft 4. I mean, remember the astronomic reaction to StarCraft 2's reveal? You'd think all these people just won the fucking lottery. I'm sure there are plenty of employees at Blizzard that are tired of working on WoW, as it's been around for 13 years. Some people might say Warcraft 4 would be competing with StarCraft 2 and that Blizzard doesn't need to make another RTS. However, Blizzard was already self-competing with their own games before. And for some people, StarCraft 2 is just too fast of a game. Unless you're a macro master, unless you're super fast in everything you do, you're gonna get creamed, kid. Warcraft is slower paced and easier to grasp because of that. I mean, if Age of Empires 2 got new DLC 17 years after its initial release, that proves people are still interested in real-time strategy games, and it can't be too risky for Blizzard to want to make a new one. There's many reasons why Warcraft 3 needs a true sequel, but sadly, there are many reasons why it doesn't. Of course, here's the biggest question you, Blizzard, and any Warcraft fan is asking. Is Warcraft 4 a possibility? Well, let's take a look at our options and what Blizzard is currently doing. They have WoW, Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm, StarCraft 2, Diablo 3, and Overwatch. All of these games are getting constant support as of the time this video was posted. And StarCraft is also getting remastered sometime in 2017. Realistically, Blizzard's got six, soon to be seven, games that'll be on the market, each with their own community and number of employees dedicated to maintaining those games. They're doing well financially, and they're all pretty popular, at least as far as I know. And we know Blizzard doesn't make video games as frequently as other developers, so it's safe to say that they are probably very comfortable with what they have now and upcoming. And there's no pressing reason for them to make Warcraft 4, especially since WoW and Hearthstone are as popular as they are. This is similar to the boat Valve is in with Half-Life 3. They're making so much money off of CSGO and Dota that they don't really have a good reason to make the long-awaited sequel Half-Life 3. We also have to ask ourselves, would Warcraft 4 draw people away from their other games? And I think it definitely would. It's been so long since Warcraft 3 came out, 
I imagine a lot of WoW players would love to go back and play a brand new RTS game from Blizzard. So having WoW and Warcraft 4 coexist might split the community and lead to lower subscription numbers for WoW. Or it could strengthen both of them as a double-edged sword. But seeing as how they stopped reporting their sub numbers, I imagine Blizzard is just a tiny bit sensitive on the matter, and don't want to see WoW decline any further. But a Warcraft 4 would most definitely be a hot topic and a must-buy for real-time strategy, Warcraft, and Blizzard fans alike. So it'd for sure give Blizzard a huge boost in sales numbers. WoW has also been continuing the Warcraft story this whole time. For 13 years it's been crafting its own lore in the universe, so to have a Warcraft 4 would be challenging in terms of storytelling. Would they tell two different stories? Would the new game continue where WoW left off, or would Warcraft 4 be the new direction? It's also problematic that the real-time strategy genre is not nearly as prominent in the game industry as it used to be. It's kind of going through a lull right now, but thank god for Halo Wars 2. So Blizzard as a business company will probably see this and think, Hey! We like money! Real-time strategy games aren't as big, so let's not divert a buttload of resources to make a new one. Although it's entirely possible Blizzard will just remaster the game, reviving the community, and not have to worry about how it'll affect WoW. I'd definitely be fine with this option if the StarCraft Remastered turns out well. Regrettably, if we think from Blizzard's perspective, there aren't enough good reasons to justify making a Warcraft 4 aside from the money and the adoration of fans. But even then, it's still a risky game to make at the moment. There's been a small amount of speculation and news on the matter of Warcraft 4, at least that I could find. Searching for Warcraft 4 in Google only led to a few news articles that mostly examined the words of some Blizzard developers. Or it would lead to articles talking about World of Warcraft, so there's not really a whole lot on the matter. But as recently as June 19th, IGN covered a story about a curious job listing at Blizzard for senior software engineer. It reads, Compelling stories, intense multiplayer, endless replayability, qualities that made StarCraft, Warcraft 3, and Diablo 2 the titans of their day. Yada yada yada, we're restoring them to glory and we need your engineering talents, your passion, and your ability to get tough jobs done. Since we know that StarCraft is getting a glorious remaster, is it possible that Warcraft 3 and Diablo 2 could be getting a similar treatment? Although, it has been noted, this wording was used in similar posts about a year ago, so don't hold your breath. Now in November 2016, interview done by Game Informer with Blizzard CEO Mike Morhaime, he gives us a solid piece of news on Warcraft 4, though you're not gonna like it. I love that there is so much passion and interest around Warcraft 4. I would love to see Warcraft 4 at some point in the future, but that is not our current focus. This feeds into what I was talking about. Blizzard already has enough on their plate and undertaking another project might be overindulgent. He says specifically that it is not our current focus. So from this we can assume it won't be an idea that's brought up in the conference rooms for some time. There's a couple of videos and interviews with Tim Morton, the producer at Blizzard, and in a video by GameSpot in 2015 he says, StarCraft 2 lead developer Tim Morton told GameSpot that StarCraft 3 or Warcraft 4 could be developed, and that it all depends on what the fans say they want. He also said in an interview done by IGN, It's very rewarding for us to hear that there's demand out there for more RTS content in the Warcraft universe. So once we're done with Void, I think we'll get together as a team and talk about what would inspire us to work on next. There's no question that we'll consider Warcraft, Starcraft, or even new ideas. Anything is possible. It could be possible the game Tim alluded to here was actually Overwatch, which released in May 2016. Hope dwindles just a little bit more. But as he said, anything is possible. Apart from these articles and notes I listed, I couldn't find any other news or quotes from Blizzard employees that could feed the Warcraft 4 discussion. So if you found anything important I haven't talked about, please share it in the comments below so everyone knows about it. With such a small amount of discussion from Blizzard employees on the possibility of Warcraft 4, it seems that it won't be a focus for a long time. The demand for Warcraft 4 is certainly there. 
Fans have waited 14 years for any legitimate sign that a sequel to the RTS juggernaut of legend could be on its way, and Blizzard knows their history better than anyone, so I don't think they've ruled it out 100%. There are several good reasons why we need a Warcraft 4, and why Blizzard should make it, but unfortunately WoW is just too successful. Blizzard has many games that they are continually updating, and the current market for RTS games is not as strong as it once was. Add on to this, the CEO stated it's not their current focus, and it paints a pretty bleak picture. But regardless, we may not see a return to Azeroth from a top-down perspective anytime soon, but I imagine we'll look through that lens again. Someday. Until then, I leave you with this.